Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're back out in the dead of night looking out for some larries or any other fish we can find. I'm sure we'll find a few other creatures as well. So stay tuned. Hopefully it's a good forage. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We are on the move. We're literally looking for anything tonight. I love going on these little forages. I'm mainly looking for uh, lobsters, but the amount of creatures you find and at night time, it certainly brightens them up as well. So we get down in the pools and hopefully we'll find some cool creatures. It's amazing the colours around here. The LED torches really make them glow up. I love all the seaweeds. I spend hours here just looking around at tiny little species. Good thing about tonight, that tide's really going to whip out. It's a one metre low water and it is perfect for doing this. Because the tide goes down so fast, the lobsters don't have time to escape with the tide. And it leaves more openings for you to find a big one. That's what we hope anyway. We're staying in the shallows at the moment until we walk around to the higher reefs. And fingers crossed, that's where the bass will be laying or any other sort of fish. Don't know if you can see it down there, guys. Lovely sized wrasse. Really beautiful colors on that thing. Love to see the old wrasse. Got a lobster here, guys. Got him! Yes! <laughs> I've been fighting this one for a while, and this one looks in. Lovely lobster. Oh, you beauty. I was fighting this one for a while. I could just see his uh, antennae sticking out. And this looks like a keeper to me. Come on, you beauty. And look at that. In an absolute mile. What a beauty lobster. Nice male, big claws, and she's solid as well. What a beast. Happy days, we get abandoned straight in the foraging bag. We're off to a good start. Woohoo! What well, a cracking lobster. We've only been down here about 10 minutes. Absolutely chirping with that. Lovely size to cook as well. And I've got the uh, I've got the, a new cooker with me today. And I've got my boiling pot. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this lobster, band her up. What I always like to do, get it in between your legs like that, make sure it can't pinch you. And then get two wraps on the big claw and it gives you time without getting nipped to do the other one. So you can wrap that properly. Beautiful. Get it up there. And then on the big claw, you can get one more wrap there job done lovely lobster to get i can't believe that already i've been dying to get a lobster for ages got one in the bag let's go get some more in the bag you go big boy lovely sized lobster just what we like to see what i do get a bit of the uh the wet seaweed get it straight in there around the lobster keep it nice and damp stay alive a lot longer what a great start to the night got a lobster down already we haven't even hit the good spots yet. We're quite high up the beach, so uh, there's, there's a few lobster holes that should be open now, so we're gonna head to them, and hopefully we can find some more. Come on. Look at that, guys. This is called a spider peeler. This is a spider crab that's molted its shell, and this is literally like jelly. They do this every year. They come in to breed, and they shed their shells. Look at that. That is so squishy, it's unbelievable beautiful bait if it was in legal size what a shame let's get her back nice to see that though oh nice one here we go got him <laughs> got a bass in really shallow water we got a bass what a beast <laughs> we're not even in the good spots and we're finding stuff left right and centre that's what we want to see baby not a bad sized bass that one guys really good condition hell of a that's a hell of a bass so what i'm gonna do is get them on the tripod we'll get you a little show what a beauty there you go guys lovely bass that but i'll give that three and a half pounds lovely size that one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this for my girlfriend's dad because he really wanted a bass and then anything else we catch when we go to the good spot we'll uh we'll let it go providing there's bass there but hey lovely sized bass 
What a beauty. We're on an absolute roll on this forage. Let's get some more, baby. Woohoo! There we go. Our lobster's down here. And we got a lovely bass, that nice fat one. I'm just putting it in the bottom first. So I don't want it to crush my lobster. Just like so, if we can get it in. <laughs> there we go. Lobster goes on top. So then we don't crush his claws or anything like that and the foraging bag is full. So the thing with this foraging, you've got to be so careful. I always recommend going with a mate because you don't want to have a fall. Hence the reason I always wear buoyancy aids and stuff like that. Giant prawn down there. It just helps with the safety side of things. But uh, if you do it safely, this can be awesome fun. As you can see, all of the colors under the LED lights, it just brightens it up so much. Lobster in here, guys, look. Got him. <laughs> Nearly pinched me then, that one. <laughs> Little baby male again, right underneath this big ledge. Awesome to see, I love lobster foraging. Definitely one of my favorite forms of foraging. I've just found a mother of a lobster, guys. Look at the size of that. It's eating a lady crab. That thing is huge. Oh my God. Look at that. That is a beauty of a lobster. Eating a lady crab as well. Look at that thing. Oh my God. We're on a form today. Look at the size of that for a lobster. Oh. Look at the size of this, guys. That is a big lobster. Look at the tail on that. Massive lobster. <laughs> what a beast. We're going to keep this bad boy. Look at the size of that. What an absolute monster. Big female. No eggs whatsoever. Perfectly good to eat. What a monster. <laughs> what a beast. Oh, I'm hyped for this one, guys. Look at the size of that one for a lobster. That is an utter monster. <laughs> that is a beauty. Haven't found a lobster that big in a while. What an absolute giant. Whoa, nearly bit me then. <laughs> so I'm gonna do is band it up. We're we'll getting her in the foraging bag. We're not even at the best spot yet, Eva. We're just walking around. This thing was literally sitting there eating a lady crab. You know how vicious lady crabs are, and this thing is an absolute dinosaur. Ha <laughs> ha, what a boost. Get her taped up. One on. And number two, can't believe that. One o'clock in the morning and we're finding giant lobsters, bass. This is the forage I've been after. Haven't been doing well on the lobsters lately because a lot of them have just been molting. So uh, it's nice to finally get one. I promised an old guy that I know that uh, I would get him a lobster. That's the only reason I'm keeping this is uh, I want to give him a nice lobster. He's 90 now, so uh, he, he, he can't go and do it himself. So this one, be a nice meal for him, that's for sure. What a beauty. Let's get it in the foraging bag and let's go get some more. Come on. Check that out, guys. That's a big old lobster. Solid as anything as well. That's what you want. Just monsters. <laughs> let's get it in the foraging bag. Now this thing's getting full. Try and tuck the tail. It's a good tip that. Always turn the tails over so they're not bent up the other way because they could break sometimes. So uh, keep them all turned down like so and it keeps them all safe. Look at this tiny little bass here, guys. Look how small that is, or is it a mullet? Is that a mullet? Oh, it's a mullet. Didn't expect to find one of these in this spot. There you go, guys. That's a thick lip gray mullet. No, I haven't found one on this spot at all before. So that's lovely to see. Nice mullet. <laughs> They're quite delicate, so I'm not going to keep out of the water for very long. But get her back. What a beast. <laughs> Foraging bag's definitely getting heavy. You can see, that's a keeper lobster, that one. And look at the size of that. It shows the difference. <laughs> What a monster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some weed in my bag, keep them alive, and then we're going out bass hunting. The idea of this, guys, is 
what you want to do is find massive gullies that have a little bit of water in them even on low water because the bass they tend to just stay in the seaweed even though they can still get out the gully they, they always choose to just sit around and you can find some massive bass this way and also you can find the lobsters brown crabs anything else that's around wasn't much bass at this spot we got here a little bit late the water's just not deep enough they've all they've all escaped the uh the gully i've seen a couple of small ones but they weren't worth netting but hey we've got the one we're still going to mooch around we've still got half an hour till low tide so hopefully we can find some cool creatures finding tons of shrimps around look at that tiny little bullet there also known as a scorpion fish really small one i've seen some really big shrimps but i'm not interested in keeping any of them tonight i think we've got enough to eat <laughs> what was a top knot no larry's though check this out guys that's called the top knot awesome little flatfish they are they always cling to the bottom of rocks like you've seen it there really cool to see really see through on the bottom there you see all of their organs cool little species that's the top knot you see how it's all mounded out like that that is a perfect perfect representation of a lobster hole an absolute beauty of a lobster hole but the question is is there a larry oh definitely a lobster there he is boom <laughs> got another one how big is that one another male as well big claw on that well check that one that one's going to be really close but there you go guys that just shows that little mound that's how they dig it out they don't like it when there's full of weed in the holes and stuff so uh yeah it's a really good telltale that all right put him down there check him look at that perfectly in that lobster lovely big claw on that he's got a little gimpy arm too what a beauty we're loading up on lobsters today that's free we got now this is turning out to be a great forage this one we are finding lobsters left right and center Ooh. might be wise to get that big claw first haven't got this in the best position so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give him that to chew on and i'm going to take this claw strategy that's what it's all about there we go close it up nicely get the next one go straight over there we go and there's no getting horse bites on the back of the legs and we've got another lovely lobster look at the barnacles on that one it hasn't shed in a while lovely job three lobsters down on a bass what i've decided guys i've got the big female here because it's a female and this one would breed a lot of eggs in the future i've got two lobsters and that's all i needed so i'm gonna take the bands off and release this lobster because uh, I, I never want to take more than what I need. So this little beauty, it's this lucky day, and we're going to let her go. That is a lovely female lobster. Best part of two pound, that lobster. But hey, back she goes. Right, we're at, outside the water line now, guys, where this lobster will be able to walk its way out. It's a lovely big lobster as well. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. So what we're going to do is get her gone. You can see it blowing the air out. They blow bubbles to keep the oxygen going. And that is a real beast, that one. This one will lay a lot of eggs for the future. And that's what it's all about. Foraging for yourself, not just what you catch. You gotta look after the stocks with it. What a beautiful lobster. See you later, missus. You'll have loads of babies for me to eat later. Look at the size of this, guys. This lobster is an absolute warrior be surprising how how old a lobster like this would be there's my hand obviously it's going to try and defend itself in a minute but lovely to see i always feel good like letting a really big female go like that it's a big female it can lay thousands of eggs check that out guys big old abalone there 
They're not allowed to take these till January, it's highly illegal, but lovely to see nonetheless. Haliota tuba colata. Starting to get tired now. Whew. I've been to every lobster hole you could possibly imagine. Uh, I feel good that we've let the uh, the big female go. We've got two males, one for the chap that I uh, promised him one. Then we've got one to munch on, baby. Another lobster, guys. He's trying to run away. Oh, there's he gone. There he is, look. Feisty little devils. <laughs> there we go. Just walking up the beach there, another male. Loads of males on this beach. Hey, another one down. Not a keeper, definitely not, but still nice to see nonetheless. Straight underneath a rock like that. It looked buried, but it wasn't. See you later, buddy. Such a cool creature, the lobsters. They almost look alien-like. Something else, just watching them walk around like that, arms up. Look at that, trying to attack anything that comes near it. What a beast. <laughs> oh, I love it. See you later, mate. There's definitely something under this rock, guys. I haven't got a clue what it is. I've just seen a huge puff of sand come out then. What is it? That is the big question. There it is. <laughs> Check that out. It's another little lobster. This one's got one claw. Don't want to get bitten today. Another male as well. One claw on that one. A little bit of battle scored. <laughs> what a beast. Back you go, my friend. We're finding loads of lobsters tonight. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Can't beat a good old lobster forage at night time. Quite funny, guys. Look at this. I just picked this rock up and it's got loads of bits of lobster everywhere. The antennae, everything. Down here, if I can catch him. There we go, we got him. That's his little relative, the squat lobster. And up here, more abalone. And as we said, we can't take those, but it's interesting to find bits of lobster. They're obviously molting. Look at that, there's a bigger, bigger antenna over there. Really interesting. Got our lovely bass here, guys. Look at that, what a prime fish. Lovely gold on that bass as well. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to descale it and all I do is get my knife, use the back of it and just run it up against the, uh, the scales there and when they're fresh they come off so easily it is a right mess to do this at home so doing it on the beach saves you cleaning out the sink a hundred times and it's job done, nice and clean my, my Mrs. Dad would love this I've been asking for a nice bass so why not I don't usually take big baths so these little ones in between like four to two to four pound is like perfect sort of eating size. Got a fancy new cooker today guys. We've got our two beautiful lobsters here. And all we're gonna do is just a straight old school smash board up. All we're going to do is put some water in there, about half an inch in the pan. We're going to dispatch these lobsters and get them in there. All you've got to do to dispatch a lobster, guys, there's a cross just on the top of the head there. And what you're doing is going straight down and then straight towards the head. Nice and quickly. And that there is the lobster completely dispatched. It may have a few nerves, but it's completely dispatched. Just like so, job done. There's no suffering involved. There's no splash in the water over you when you put it in the pan. That's the best way to dispatch a lobster, that. I brought a sneaky bit of the old sweet chili sauce for me tonight. I forgot a lot of ingredients, hence the reason I'm not putting salt in the water. But look at that. You can see this is all nerves, this, of the lobsters moving. I always think they're alive when they're not. They've been completely dispatched. Their brain is completely destroyed. It just shows the nerves will still keep twitching. That's gonna be up to a boil very quickly, guys. These lobsters ain't gonna take long to cook. So what I'm gonna do, just plop one in there in the side. 
You get the other one, straighten the other bit. Beautiful. Try and get them both in there where they can get covered in the uh, in the steam and the water. Look at that. Yum. Gotta love having a good old plate and some utensils. <laughs> lovely job. That'll sit my lobster on nicely. Cooking down lovely now. Check those out. That looks absolutely delicious. This cooker is amazing. Burns a lot better than my old one did. Cooks them a lot faster. And it doesn't stop halfway through. <laughs> Oh, favorite part of the night. What I'm gonna do is save this one. There we go. I'll give that away tomorrow. And what we're left with is a lovely big lobster to have a munch on. What a beautiful lobster. What we gotta do is just crack it all out. Job done. We're on a beach so we can get rid of the shell. Check that out. Beautiful piece of meat. Oh, I haven't had lobster in a little while. Bit of sweet chili sauce on there. Job done. Haha, <laughs> I'm in my element, baby. Oh. Oh, I miss that. Oh, I really miss that. The claw meat is so sweet. What a beast. Mmm lost my rock really enjoyed tonight there was loads of lobsters around i'm glad we got rid of the uh the big female because uh I, i'd rather put a big female back than keep it but hey we got the two males so happy days got one bass as well seen a few smaller ones but they just weren't worth even catching but all in all mm, a really enjoyable forage we had no wind whatsoever, flat calm sea, it's been awesome. Oh. We've had some solid lobsters as well. That one there has still got barnacles on it and everything. That's a proper solid lobster, nice and heavy. So the old chap's going to be happy with that. My missus dad's going to enjoy the bath. And everyone's happy. Look at the meat inside that. With the with the leg uh, with the body section, guys. All you got to do, just crush either side like so. Ooh, and then you can just peel it like a prawn without dropping it on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, I love getting messy with stuff like this. Lovely big chunk of meat. What you can do is there's like a flap on the top. If you pull that down. And inside there would be its poo track. So you can just pull that out. Job done. She's ready to go. Get a lovely bit of sweet chili sauce on it. Or whatever you prefer. Garlic butter. And then munch on it. Oh. Oh, I miss a good old lobster. I was really hoping I'd get one tonight. And we actually got three. That's an awesome night. Seen a lot of wrasse, lots of small creatures about. The good thing about this time of year is all the creatures have finished breeding and stuff and they've all come back into shore. So you end up seeing a hell of a lot more. Mm. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. 
this has been absolutely amazing tonight i've really enjoyed myself i'm full of lobster and my stomach's happy so stay tuned if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed if you want any merch or become a member the links in the description so stay tuned it's mass fishing baby Woo! you're lucky i promised you to someone larry because you'll be going down the hatch too <laughs>